Yo, what's up? My name is Che Hardway. I'm here together with Mike Savello. What's up? We made a track together, uh, EDM Bubble, and we are gonna explain how we did it, how we made it. So yeah, let's just. Uh, I think we're gonna start with the break. First, we have to tell you guys our ghost producer is not here right now. Yeah. So we have to do it by ourselves. So we're just gonna try it. We're gonna just dive into the project. He sent it. Um, we don't usually do this, but um, if it doesn't sound good, we don't have the sound good lizer here. <laughs> So um, I do have it. I have the sound goodizer. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Step one: production lessons. Download the sound goodizer. So let's start with the break. Uh, I think we started with the intro, but that's pretty straightforward. Going to handle that later. But the break is very empty, very quite simple, but it's it's really catchy. It starts with this um, little instrument. And it repeats, uh, it's in Sonic Synth 2, it's like an organ or like a Tron, like a Tron sample. And it's just short, short steps playing these chords, so take a good look. And without effect it sounds like this. Talking about sound goodizer. Oh yeah, there you have it. Here is the famous sound goodizer. Um, what it does, it, it goodizes your sound. <laughs> yeah. Well, it just, it, it's like, I think, maybe the most notorious plugin in Fruity Loops because people hate it. It's just basically like some sort of compressor, reverb, um, everything in one plugin with just one button. And I don't get it. Why would you hate it? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't hate it, but I hear people yeah, hating I it. I know, and, I know. Yeah. And well, I'm going to show you the difference. This is without. This is with. It's like really fat and uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, reverb. And EQ. Uh, I think this is the um, radio preset. And then tweaked a little bit. To give it that old radio feel. Uh, filter. Yeah, we use that in the in the build-up, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, we don't use it here, but it's like... I think we use it in the build-up, uh, not right now. Um, I'm gonna turn the vocal off for a little bit, so we can listen to the um, instrumental break. It's um, some percussion with, with the synth we just showed. And it's a pretty cool drum loop, like pretty funky. I'm not going to go into every little sound, but um, we have a hat. That's a clap cut from a loop. More claps, some uh, percussion, tambourine, and um, a little. 80s Tom, yeah. Some reversed claps, and it's just playing around with some some sounds until you get a cool. On the normal clap, there's no uh, extra reverb, but on the clap that's only on the fourth bar, normally this clap would sound like this, and now it sounds like this with Valhalla Room. <coughs> Some EQ, uh, as you can see, low frequencies took them out of it, and it's in stereo. So yeah, then you have a drum loop with a with a synth. Yeah. And this is like an effect thingy. It's like a it's reverse. Sounds. It's like a reversed horn thingy with a lot of reverb on it. Uh, the decay is at 13 seconds, so that means it's long. It's huge. It's huge. Without sound goodizer as well. That's uh, amazing. It's no sound goodizer. No sound oh. goodizer. We missed out on that. We could have. This track is, uh, could have been next level. Could have been. Then the vocal. Um, we yeah. started without the vocal. Yeah. It's from Splice. 
I don't know how we found it exactly, but we were just like, hey. No, we were looking for, uh, uh, we had a name already for the song, EDM Bubble. Did we? Yeah. I thought we came up with it because of this. Uh, because of this was, the vocal was about bubbles. Yeah. And then we were like, hey, bubble, EDM bubble. No, That's but funny. I, I remember looking on Splice for bubble. Uh, remember? No, I don't. Oh, maybe, no, I wait. You had this vocal already. And then we were looking for the drop vocal. Yeah. And that was... Probably. That was when we found EDM bubble. bubble. Yeah. yeah. But this, uh, normally this is way slower. Um, yeah. If it would. It's 1.5. Okay, here we go. So, I'm not even sure what she says. And we also cut it up so that it doesn't even make sense anymore. Yeah. Uh, but I think we did that because it just sounds cool. And um, it sounds cool, it's, it's catchy, it's a little bit like childish, so to say. And then, yeah, it just has a cool vibe with, the, in, with all of it, I think. And what I think is cool is when I play this live, um, I it's really people. You're like you have some serious tracks, and then it's like like a happy bubble song. Yeah, it's people very are nice. like, what What are you playing? Do you know? Did you know Dylan Francis plays this? Really? Yeah. Thanks, man. Yo, thanks, Dylan Francis. That's cool. Appreciate That's cool. it. Build up or drop? Yeah, let's just do the build up first. It's quick. I mean, whatever. It's an uh, cashmere exhaust. <laughs> shout out, shout out Cashmere. Shout out Cashmere, man. You're the, you're the best. It's like the long one. Yeah. And it's just like so crisp. I like his, the sound design for the pack is really amazing, I think. The packs, we have now have three Cashmere packs. And um, especially if you work quick, like we do, like um, we're just, hey, let's throw in this sound. You can throw in like 20 sounds and then one sticks. And that's just, I think that's really cool. It's very easy to make a quick demo yeah. with this pack. Yeah, and then you upgrade the sounds or you cue them or you just leave them in place like this. Like, like an it's answer. fine. Yeah, it's not even on a channel. <laughs> not, no, <laughs> not, it's not even EQ'd, it's, it's not even on a channel. So um, what's cool about Collapse is that you can steal each other's sounds yeah. Yeah. and get away with it. Yeah. Now, like, um, um, he had this FX kick. Yeah. He found it somewhere. He made it. And I didn't he, make it. He was like, "Hey, here, uh, let's use this one." Yeah. And at that moment, it's on my computer, and I'm like, "Hey, I like that. I'm, I can use it more often." That's just really it's, cool. It's a very good deep kick. Yeah. And it's it's those basic things. I think it's good as a producer to have your own little folder. Yeah. With all of those things you like. And don't just, oh, he used it, so I use it. No, you have to actually like it, I think. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't like it, it's not going to be your sound. Right? But I will send you the invoice for using the sample. Sure. You have my details? Yeah, I have your details. Can I use PayPal as well? Sure. Nice. You can also pay Bitcoin. Me Bitcoin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So what uh, do you have here? What's pattern 12? What's that? Pattern 12. Let's go to pattern 12. Um, by the way, you can see I'm not using the mouse. It's just a tip for the Fruity Loops users. Shift L. You can switch from uh, song mode. Look in the left. Maybe my video editor can make a little bubble around it. A bubble around uh, but you it. can switch to pattern mode, which is like, oh, I'm, what is, uh, I'm in song mode. Like, what is pattern 12? Oh, let's go to pattern mode. OK, we have some snares. Very nice. It's some snares. Two, actually. I'm going to take the effects off. It's just a filter. Crisp sounding snare and then a And then you combine two different rhythms. Yeah. And what is 13? the purple thing on the top? The purple thing on the top. Yeah, like underneath the exhaust. Oh, what's that? Tunes to make your bubble. 
and don't seek the trouble. Sick. Choose to make your bubble and don't seek the trouble. We found that on Spice, right? Yeah, we found it on Spice. It's really funny how it's very dry, but it, you also hear like his breathing very hard. Choose mm -hmm. to make your bubble and don't <laughs> seek the trouble. In fact, if you slow it down, <laughs> you get. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it is um, me. But that's like the the drop vocal. Yeah. And it just um, builds up like this. Tunes to make. 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 Tunes to. And then try to bass in it. Tunes to make your bubble. Tunes to make your bubble. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of bass in it. Uh, I don't know if it's even EQ'd. Tunes to make your bubble. There's no EQ on it. Because if you hear it. Okay, what? Tunes to make. Tunes to make. Tunes to make. What you could do to make your production a bit cleaner is like, for instance, some EQ which takes out some of the lows. Just to make some room. Yeah, but we didn't do that. It's just a bit, it's, it's, it's like, it's not lazy, but it's like in the workflow, you just go and edit stuff, especially when you're, with, uh, when you're collabing with someone. Yeah, you just, we were, we did this in two days. Yeah, not even. I think we had like the first version we could play on one day. Yeah. So you just work fast, and you want to finish fast because you're both on uh, on tight schedules. So, yeah. um, what's pattern four? It's the bass from the second break, which plays the chords, but then we use only the first note. <laughs> Yeah, um, here's the, um, this is the, the main melody. Yeah. And it, we already are building it up here. Um, so, Mike, when we made this, you showed me something new, what I didn't know yet. Um, because you changed the sample, because it sounds really like attacking now, and I'm not sure, I'm just gonna make this one unique. Can you show yeah. like, how you did that? Well, first what I did was, of course, taking the pitch down. And there's a pogo option here, a pre-computed pre effects. So let's show it without the... Uh... This is the sound, original, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So what I did, you can do the pogo uh, up. It, it takes the sound up. You also can do it down. And it gets that weird effect. I do this with my synths, uh, kick drums, everything actually, just to try stuff out. Um, and what I also did is, of course, the, the pitch down. And of course, we need to, we need to put the effects on. So we had a, a distortion on it. Uh, yeah, kick drum, kick start. Yeah, I used the fast distortion. I actually used this just to check how it sounds with a distortion on it. It sounds pretty dope. Fat. Uh, we did the Valhalla room on it. That's a, that's a reverb you use a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we uh, that's how we just made the sound. And then uh, when I heard the sound, I was thinking in back in the day in like 2006, seven, I think there was like this famous party in uh, in Holland called uh, you had sneakers, you had uh, no dope, dope, and that was a time where house music was very still in in the like, how do you say it's like the pre days of EDM. Yeah, when when like um, the productions weren't on that big of a. Big of a level yet? No. But the creativity was amazing. 
Yeah. Because like now you can find millions of samples. Like you open Splice, you have like every every Skrillex snare, every hardstyle kick ever. Back then, I remember also when I was making music, um, you couldn't find any decent samples. No. Everything sounded like shit. Yeah. Uh, so you had to make your own stuff and find stuff through friends. And yeah. that's why the, all the tracks didn't use a lot of samples, but they used them in a very uh, yeah. creative way. Yeah, you should look them up. Like Nope is Dope, you, have, you had these uh, CDs back in the day. Um, but they just had like this simpleness in it. Not to talk wrong about it, but it was just very innocent or something. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. But we had that vibe already with this sound. So that's also the decision for us to... We were like, okay, we want to make the drop as simple as possible, yeah. if, if that's the correct word, just to uh, give the, the lead sound its room and also the kick drum. And yeah, we added it with some uh, extra extra samples, but it's a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty simple drop, yeah. actually. And uh, I think that's also the the reason why it works live well. You know? Yeah, I'd say it's also um, that's why it works well live, like you said. But also, um, it's it's all about the groove in it. So it's not not so much the oh we need so much elements or it's like a certain groove and the way the melody plays with the with all the elements like the small. We're gonna show you later in the drop, yeah. like all the small little elements, and that's what makes this track f stand out for me, I guess. Yeah, for me too, especially, uh, yeah, and yeah, for this melody, I just, uh, what I did is like copying some, uh, like, this is number five, as you can see, then I did one with pitch up, and then I did another one, and this is how I made the, the yeah, the melody quickly. What we did in the drop was the same melody. Um, we just wanted to have a silent on the first kick drum. And then we had. Yeah, there's some reverse reversed version. Yeah. That's what we did to uh, fill up the, the groove. And what's funny is that it looks like oh yeah uh, Mike was making this melody and we had it now it, it it's like I think yeah at least two hours of like ding 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 and we try ding. try our yeah. different melodies try our different rhythms yeah and um, do you get it right but the groove was there pretty fast yeah that's what I remember and um, yeah, it's it also because of the kick we used a very very uh, yeah heavy kick which we'll, Mike will show you now. Yeah, as you can see, it's called the mic kick. Uh, this is how I called it in my um, in my sample pack, which I use at home. What you said, like all of the, my favorite sounds, I just put them apart and I use and them always, almost like. And this is uh, one of them, uh, the kicks. And it's actually not my kick, actually. It's a kick from uh, a pack from. Uh, two Italian guys called Retro Hands, and they make their sample packs right now. I use them a lot. Nice. And yeah, this kick is just usually I, I use this kick as a. I like the mid in it. We don't have we don't even put no. it on the channel. <laughs> wow, <laughs> crazy. It's just thrown on there. So, but you as you can hear, it's like a kick without a real punch. It has a slight punch. So what we did is also use a kick, a top kick with it. So you get this um, this kick, and we used the um, yeah some what is this a symbol or something? It's also a small little kick. I yeah. don't think we even used EQ on it. No, <laughs> nothing. Wow. There's just on the channel. And it just sounded fat, so fuck yeah. it. Yeah, that's what we did. Just to to drop it in. Okay, so we had the pre-drop vocal. To make your and then, yeah, just uh, we had the drop. A nice fill, the fill is pretty cool. 
Um, Which one? This one. It's like uh, the rhythm of this. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the song is called, but it's the Turk dance in Scrubs. My video editor will edit a clip of Turk dance right now. Yeah, Famous track, everyone knows this except not the title. So it's it's really a different groove, but way more EDM y. Like it's not it's like it's like more how how is it? Okay. Less groove, so it's yeah. like uh it's pretty cool. Uh, what's cool, let's just go to the drop. I guess we had the, the build up, we had some risers, risers and yeah. some effects. Yeah. Not really that interesting, but if you go to the drop and listen to the the kick, how it, because we, we explained the kick, but now like the groove of the kick. Like yeah. it's like bouncing around and like we just cut pieces of the kick and as you can see here like it's like a um, kick without a top and it just adds a lot of groove if you then add uh, the drums really really fat hi-hat from a drum loop. So if you, like if you're gonna find separate hi hats, I I never succeed. But then I go to like cool drum loops. You always find like the best hi hats, I guess. Yeah, and there's there's absolutely no shame in just cutting stuff from loops. I mean, yeah. Loops give me a, a quick quick solution to finding a groove or. You know, just to move on to the things that really yeah. Just really get matter. inspired. A little bit of white noise here. It's like very white. It's very white. <laughs> it's very it's very simple um, um, noise wave. Uh, one voice. It's like just one. Uh, we don't even use this part. It's just one little voice of silent with EQ because normally it's more like. Uh, noise and then we use that as like a little small fill like and all those little elements and all those little drum percussions give it a really cool um, cool vibe I guess and makes it unique but still um, how do you say live easy live you know what I mean? Like, it's not too complicated. It, every every little sound makes sense. Yeah, and, and every sound every sound gets its own room in yeah. a way. It's like that's why it works live. Yeah. Uh, what, my personal favorite from our like uh, how do you say this collab where you can really hear the collab is that little fill you made. Yeah, this one. With the. Uh, it's actually a toy piano. Yeah. As you can see. It's not really a bell. It's a toy piano. From Sonic Synth, what's on there? I have this standard mixer preset, which just fills it with a lot of shit to... Oh. <laughs> hey! That's why we need our That's ghost producer. That's why we need a ghost producer. Yeah. Man, where the, hey! And where is he? I don't know where he is, man. Hank! <laughs> it would sound like this, and we, it, it needs to stand out, be aggressive. Yeah. It's just louder basically and a little bit more aggressive sound goodizers on there very important very important um yeah <laughs> then there's a lot of uh hi hats yeah another one from the pack another one so we have two hi hats layered 
Um, and this top loop yeah. by Mike Cervello. One of my favorites. I use this a lot in my songs. It just, uh, it's actually my favorite. And uh, it's just a little bit EQ'd. Hi-hat loop. Like taking out the low frequencies. Gives so much groove, such so much energy to a song. And a tip for all your EQ users, get an EQ where you can s visually see the frequencies. You learn more about what is what doing on what frequency zone. You see there's a little bit of noise. Sometimes it can help in your total mix to get that out. But this is just, we, you don't really need this EQ, but yeah. I do it as it, well. It happened, you know, it happened. But all those little noises add up. So in the end, if you really want a tight mix down, try clean to look in there, clean it up. But for this track, you don't really need it. It can be a bit dirty. Yeah, it can be a bit dirty. Dirty is fine. Oh yeah, and you should just show the this one. It's actually your sample, right? Uh, no. It's from a pack. Oh, from a pack. But uh, it's a very weird kind of sample, but we just used it here to... Cut it up. Yeah, we'll cut it up, yeah. You can hear it a little, t like, mm -hmm. at the end. We didn't... You, need, you know, we're not that... Um, we, didn't clean, we didn't clean up the project. This is a but very dirty can, project. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can clean up, for instance, like this, transient. Yeah. Bleeding. Uh, so what it does, as you can see here, it fades out the very last part. Here's a little reversed um, bass. Yeah. Um, is it this one? It's like a, wow, it's a really aggressive sound. Um, it came from a pack as well. <laughs> and yeah, you can hear it. It's like, it sounds like a reverse bass from the rest. That's a cool sound if you remember Voodoo. Um, that's the sound we all, I also used the Voodoo um, with this on it, so normally it would sound very boring. It's, cut, it's like a cut synth from a loop, and then just the beginning. And it's a really, it, because we take out all the rest, it sounds really big in your face in the mix. So yeah. that's just, uh, yeah, because we didn't use anything underneath there. So yeah, I guess that's the the drop, right? Yeah, I think so. As we said, it's pretty 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 simple drop. Yeah. Um, and then the only trick you have to manage is to make it fat. Yeah. In my opinion. This is a song that, or actually a production which really stands for what I do in producing and that's, I'd rather put, take something out of my song then put it in and make yeah. it like dirty or, or like yeah. it doesn't get a place. A lot of people want to put everything in their song, every sound they can find and the song goes from here to there to here to there or it sounds messy or you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean like it's, it's uh, learning for me as well because I, I used to do that a lot a couple of years ago. Go to my wake up video and it's like I just threw in a bunch of stuff until it sounded nice. I never thought of it back then, like, hey, maybe I should take a lot About of shit out yeah. and then start over with the, with the lead synth. So yeah, definitely that, it's, it's a really refreshing um, project for me as well. So that's, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And yeah, then we have second break is not really that interesting, although we used like a vocoder. So we're back with the vocal. And here we use the...
We used a um, Vocodex. We used Vocodex actually. 74 is linked to 76. 75 is also linked to 76. Uh, 74 is panned to the left. 75 is panned to the right. Um, so on one of them is a synthesizer. That's this one. It's a silent, basic. Oh, okay. It's a very basic yeah. synth. And the other one is the vocal. Yeah. Then you link them to 76. There's the vocal dex. But That's then you have one. two things and it, it links them together. Yeah. So it, you have the left side. And he, he, because of the vocal dex, you can link those two sounds together. Like Sick. we could do this. You wouldn't hear anything. That's how it would sound like with only the um, vocoder. EQ. Like this. Sausage fattener. Sausage fattener is, of course, give it a bit more edge. Makes it Stereo fat. enhancer. So it's, so it's like more to the side. It doesn't interfere with the, the normal vocal. Sausage fattener. Valhalla room for the reverb. really cool sounds. This again is very like a very simplicity less is more. That last part is we cut that out. So simple but it adds a lot here. And this is that lead again. And I mean, it's like the original break with a bunch of extra elements. You get a new break, which is more interesting. And yeah, that's what you want. You want to keep your audience interested. And for live, I, I usually play like one drop from this track. But it's for Spotify. You, want, you just want to have a whole interesting track. Like the extended mix should be fun to listen to. That's why we have the outro of almost one minute. <laughs> yeah, second The drop. second drop. A note less to surprise the audience. Yeah, even more simple. Yeah. This is a really cool uh, fill. Old school shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially that first one. Hey, you yeah, used it uh, again, right? That drum loop, that uh, drum fill. A newer song. Did I? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it somewhere. Paradigm? Maybe. I like it, but I, I don't know if I use the same, but I use the same drums. It's like the old school drum synth yeah, drums. The, 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 the synthesizer yeah. toms. Then we have the, um, the outro, which is like. intro doesn't have that much to do with um, the whole track, except it plays the chords. And this is a cool... Uh, yeah, I like that one. It's a build-up. But you put a phaser on it or something. No, that's... That's the sample. Ah. But we loop it. We loop it. And then you get... And it restarts every yeah. time. It's a really nice vibe. Yeah. And we also did it with uh, this one. Arms are my favorite. 
it's a very cool sound. In Harmer, you can actually upload a uh, sample. And it doesn't shorten it. It just stretches it. Yeah. Well, you can do a lot of things with it. So yeah, that's... And then you can make a melody with it, with where the notes aren't short in the high end. Mm -hmm. Just following the chords. Kickstart, it's like, it, it's quite basic stuff. EQ uh, and Valhalla Room for the reverb. But because of that, you get that little bit of extra cool thing. That's EDM Bubble, I guess. Yeah. And this is a perfect example of when it sounds good, just put it out there. Don't overdo it, I mean... Uh... And important, we made this track to play. Yeah. Like, uh, the first day we were like, okay, we need a version we can play on the weekend. Um, because then you can test it out. And... Um, that's why it became like this, and it's a really cool collaboration. Well guys, uh, me and Jay Hartway are thanking you for watching, and uh, subscribe below, and give like, a thumbs up. Like, and press the bell, so you get notifications. Press the bell, as we talked to you about, to get some notifications. The EDM um, bell. And don't forget to follow me as well. Yeah, um, Instagram. Yeah, he will put it down below, all the links, I'll make sure of it. No, just and, say it. Huh? Just say it. Everything is at Mike Cervello. Thank you for checking my, uh, the music and checking the, the video. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to say we, oh, we love you very much. You know, this is a, fa a problem I used to have. It's, you, you should end it sometimes. Your, your, your end speech, it should end. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.